What's up guys and welcome back to some good old snow runner here today we are going to be up here at the dam this is a new area that we haven't really uh haven't really done any exploring in and as you guys can see from our our mini map here we have a ton of things to unlock we've got six different lookout points that we are going to be heading to today and uh i don't know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting we'll see what we could do so it looks like if we go straight through this road this should take us right to the first one and uh, we're, we're just gonna see gonna see what we've got going on. So currently I feel like we've we've kind of conquered the first part of Michigan. Even a lot of the, the missions that we have over in that first part, Black River, it's uh, a lot of them still require going to this area and knowing this area and delivering parts to certain houses in this area and all kinds of stuff like that. So I figured it'd be a good thing to kind of develop this area a bit, understand what we got going on do some exploring, maybe unlock a couple of new vehicles, a couple new parts. I don't know, this is just kind of going to be an exploration type video, so... You guys will have to let me know if you guys enjoy it. I mean, to be honest, I, I mean, this is kind of my favorite part of the game. I've, uh... I've done quite a bit of this off, off, off screen, off of the, the series, off recording. And, uh, it, it's always interesting, just, you know, going through the woods, climbing mountains, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Obviously not doing any jobs and making any money, but it's still equally as uh, as interesting in my opinion. So here's our first one. All right, not a very notable place, but hey, at least you guys can see we did start to kind of unlock the map a little bit. We've got a lost trailer over here. We can see one of our, our side missions. Ooh, we've got an upgrade up here. We could go grab this. This would actually be pretty clutch. I think I might set an objective on that. Let's actually, here, we wanna go to here. And then we're gonna go straight down this road to be able to get that. We also now know there's a fallen rocks, kind of like little roadblock here, right next to our garage. So taking care of something like that is obviously gonna be very, very beneficial. I don't think we'll take care of every little thing here on these exploration videos. I'll definitely take out some of the boring, more methodical, you know, just time consuming type stuff, uh, you know, off, off screen just to keep the, the episodes interesting. But I, I feel like bogging down through some mud like this it's just, it's just really interesting. We aren't even gonna need that winch, dude. We can just go right through here. Beautiful work. This is what I'm talking about. Ah, this thing is a beast. Absolutely disgusting. And I love everything about it. Fantastic work, Mr. Mr. Khan. Gotta figure out a name for this thing, dude. This this is like our, our explorer vehicle. Should we call him like Apollo or something? You know what I mean? Like Apollo we explored the moon with. So this could be our Apollo running around, kind of doing our thing. Call it, I don't know, what's like a SpaceX name we could use? I, I have no clue. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comments. Look at this thing, dude. Literally nothing can get in its way. We have not been stuck once with this thing. So we're going to take this right right here. Dude, this is so sick, bro. Can you imagine just driving straight up through a forest with this thing? Nothing can touch it. And it looks like we made it to our upgrade part. So let's see what we got here. Uh, an AAT 6V4,4, a thoroughly reworked variant of an outdated engine. Increased power output at the cost of reliability. Physical damage tends to make it lose power and consume fuel much sooner all right so let me show the truck list looks like we can use it for the scout 800 and our old chevy silverado looking thing all right i mean not not the best upgrade i mean ultimately we're gonna want every upgrade in the game i'm sure you know as is with most games usually like the beginning stuff it's not really great but after a while if you invest some time and money into it it kind of becomes pretty good i mean think about like a like a starter Pokemon or something, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel like the starter Pokemon are pretty, pretty good off the rip, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Like, usually the, the beginning stuff seems not good, but if we kind of fully kitted them and upgraded them and, and gave them a bunch of upgrades, I'm sure they'd become pretty decent. So, next up, I'm thinking we let's just make a big counterclockwise circle. This does not look very promising, dude. You want me to go through here? I mean, it's whatever. We can make it happen. Hold up. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and skip ahead. I'm going to skip till... Skip till the afternoon. I just like, I like going through when we can see stuff. You know what I mean? I like that the game has that. Oh, dude. 
This would just be, I mean, I've, I've never done anything like this in real life. Like any, and I've done a, a very slight off-roading in my Jeep. Nothing, nothing serious, just like little local trails. But going through something like this where you've got water up to the floorboards and it just feels like you're gonna get stuck, but somehow you make it out. This would be so sick. Look at that, just absolute machine domination. Now these things here, I like to grab these. These are the little side missions. This one here, let's show our task, hungry workers. We're gonna accept it. I'm not gonna track it right now. I'm just gonna accept it and keep on moving. That way, when you go into your little side things, guys will see hungry workers right here. We could accept it anytime we want. So later on, that way we won't have to drive to this house to, to kind of acquire it. You can just go into your menu, accept it, and, and you know, that's pretty much it. So, um, it's pretty cool. Looks like we've got a bit of a farm here. We're probably gonna end up working with these guys a little bit. I'm sure they're gonna have some tasks for us. But for right now, I'm not on that task force. We are just on the exploratory course. Look at us, rhyming like a beast. Oh. Really, that high center of gravity will get you every time, man. I'll be honest, this thing does not, it, it doesn't drive well. Like it, it goes through any piece of terrain possible, but it, it handles way worse than any other vehicle we have. We've got some really big, really old semi trucks and, and work trucks and stuff. And they, they drive in a much straighter line than this thing does. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, my Jeep isn't the smoothest ride in the world, but at least it, I feel like if I want it to, it can kind of go in a straight line. This thing, it just, it's constantly, constantly working against you. But it's all right. We had kind of gone the wrong direction anyway. This is where we had fallen over. This is where we wanted to go. So straight ahead on the right. Let's just be a little bit more careful. This game definitely penalizes you for being too aggressive. Uh, you know, even when you're like stuck in the mud and stuff, it's really cool. It'll, if you feather the trigger and, and, and feather the gas pedal and, and you know, kind of work your way out slowly. It'll help you out. Just the same as when you're going through the mud with something like this. If you're careful about it, it'll help you out. If you're a little too aggressive, sometimes it'll make you, make you regret your decision. So uh, here we go. Tower number two out of six. Looking pretty good. You'll love to see it. Let's see where we're going to be going next. Looks like we've got an upgrade up here. We've got a trailer out in the boonies we could pick up and sell. We've got a drilling site over here. This is definitely going to be the next one we're going to want to go to. I'm going to say... I'm kind of tempted to try to go through here. I don't think that's going to work, though. But I kind of want to try it. Let me, let me see if we can go through the boonies to here. And then from there, we could come down and get to the... Uh, get to the, the new observatory. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try our best. I mean, really, we haven't gotten this thing stuck yet. The only thing I'm worried about are rocks. We obviously can't really climb straight up a rock face or straight down it. But if we can get around that, I think this thing can handle pretty much everything else. This has definitely been a, uh, a savior of ours. It's Apollo here. I kind of like Apollo, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this thing could handle any any moon crater that we threw at it. All right, we're good. I don't know why we're gonna take off some of our old objectives. It's weird about that. Sometimes it doesn't doesn't take off the old ones. So there we go. All right, now I've got an objective. We're just gonna have to find a way through the woods to be able to get there. Ooh, ooh, oh! What just happened here? Can we back out of this? We could back out of this. That does not look. As bad as it really is, hold on, we might be able to finagle our way around the outside here. We're gonna land on our feet though. We're okay. We've been here before. We can get through this, dude. Alright. Low and slow. That's what I'm talking about. Low and slow, baby. That's that's all you gotta do. It seems like we've got a a bit of a trail here. The ground is not as solid as I would I would like it to be. But it's there, it's enough to get through. This section is what I'm worried about. Do we have any? I feel like back there is probably gonna be our best bet. The thing is, is if we roll this thing, it's 100% a goner. I feel like if we approach 
from back there that there's like a little a little divot in the rock and we can kind of come onto it straight on if we can go straight down this we aren't gonna roll it and we're gonna be okay if we roll it obviously all of this effort was for nothing I think it's right here yeah all right let me back this up we're gonna get this straight on and we should be able to just roll right down this face all right what I tell you guys, we haven't been stuck with this thing once. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon here. Dude, this, this is gnar, we have some of the, the biggest like water retention ponds or whatever you would have, like puddles, giant puddles that I haven't seen before. Just, oh, this is, hold on, this is an upgrade for what we currently have. Never mind, it's not what I was thinking. It's for the, the International Transstar 4070A. I mean, that's still probably pretty good. You guys know we got the International Paystar in the last episode. I, I know there's an engine similar to that, like, look there, the SI Dash, that's, uh, it's, it's for the Paystar. So that's kind of what I was hoping it was gonna be for, but unfortunately, no luck, but that's all right, man. We're just gonna keep on keep on cooking here Keep on making our way through the mud dude. Look at this right now. I Would love to do this This would be so, so sick man. I don't know if I'd want to do it in my vehicle Maybe like can you rent he rent a vehicle to go off-roading? I feel like you'd never get the mud and sand and dirt and stuff out of it be constant. I guess if you made a vehicle for off-roading, it'd be a good thing. And that's kind of kind of what a Jeep is made for. Mine's, I guess, a bit of a pavement princess, but it is what it is. I have taken it off-road a little bit. I definitely want to do some, some videos with it. I've seen some of you guys talking about it down in the comments. One thing I really want to do is there's a um, there's a drive-thru zoo here, pretty close to Orlando. And I really, I want to take the top and the doors and everything off and get like the safari style doors that have just like the netting and stuff. And uh, I want to go there with Chels and, uh, and the dogs. And I feel like that would be super sick. I'm a little curious if they would let us do that and if it's safe. So I should probably reach out to them and find out. But once all the, the craziness is over and stuff starts to open back up, I think, I think that's going to be a... A fun video turn it into like a vlog or a super cooper Sunday or something I just feel like that'd be a good time like we're on a safari so anyway we made it out here to a main road I remember last episode we saw or we, we said that uh, it seemed like this was a, a higher up section of the map and it wasn't as affected by the flood I now take that back I feel like this is much harsher territory than we've ever seen before and I'm kind of tempted to see if we can just go through this swamp to this lookout tower. Do you guys think that's possible? We'll try to stay on dry ground as much as we can. I don't want to go straight through the middle of some of these cattails and stuff. I guess we're going to kind of have to. All right. We're just going to go for it. Send it. Do whatever you got to do, bro. There's a tree right there. Yeah, we're just going to climb right over the tree. I really hope this section isn't too deep. I think we're gonna make it. We might sink on the way there. We discovered, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take this before our engine gets flooded and we end up losing everything. So we'll, we'll take it. There it is. All right, where do we wanna go next? I think, uh, I think we're gonna wanna go south. Looks like this is gonna be the spot to get to. Probably gonna wanna go, we'll, we'll go to here, through here, to this. All right. We've got a bit of a winch connection. Gonna try to pull it forward. Can we connect to the tower maybe? Oh yeah, we're good. All right. Well, yet again, this thing proves to be a beast. Absolutely cannot be stopped, bro. This is insanity. Look at this thing, dude. Bogged down past the floorboards. I, I don't know how she's still kicking, but she's getting it done. Absolute insanity. You just, you, you love to see it. Let me go ahead and swap it over to daytime again. I just like the daytime. I feel like you can see a bit more. All right. So we're going to go through here. Oh, oh shoot. We probably should have stayed closer to that rock there. Oh, no. We're good, though. Dude, this, it's just like I... It's a level of confidence that I don't have with any other vehicle. Like, I, I feel like I could just 
go drive out into deep water with this thing and I wouldn't even have to think twice about it. All these rocks, dude, you hit one at a weird angle and we're already kind of tilted to the side. I just don't want to flip this thing and take forever to get back to this spot. Think about everything we've been through up until this point. And we're going to have to cross this. Shoot. Hold on a second. We probably want to not look for the blue mark, but just kind of stay on the rocks that are very clear and available to us. Oh my goodness, dude. We are pretty much in the middle of the ocean right now. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting pushed. I'm getting pushed. Put her in low. Put the diff lock on. Dude, I... I, I don't think this is a good idea. Are we floating? Okay. Yeah, this is... I, I don't think this is good. This is dry ground here. Um, Look how fast that current's going. Are we sure this is the only way... There, dude, look at... Look at... Look at the map here. I think we might be better trying to go this way and go across the dam. To be able to get to this. I mean, if we're here, if we're going to have to go back over there, we may as well just respawn. Let's go. Send it, bro. We're just going to go. Yeah, it's, it's not. This this is the one time I've ever felt like we don't actually have the power to be able to get there. I think we're too small. I think a bigger truck with a little bit more weight might be able to stand its ground and, and keep some traction. But we're done. I, I've, I've got the hammer down here, and we're, we're just... We're just floating. Somebody cue the Titanic music. <laughs> we're, ac we're actually floating away here. Look at this, fellas. Just some nice paved roads going for an afternoon drive. You know, the windows down, music blasting. Some fresh air just moving throughout the, the cabin of the Jeep here, the con, whatever you want to call it. And we can actually get across this giant river without... Uh, without drowning it's kind of a kind of a nice thing it's it's not easy to drive it because this thing doesn't really drive it a straight line on flat roads look at this dude it has a mind of its own for sure all right we're, we're good we're gonna be going to this this looks like a wooden bridge we're gonna have to repair at some point for right now we should be fine i see a big log there on that that right side we should probably go left got a feeling we're gonna be fine oh we should probably accept this task like i said that makes it a bit easier but I got a feeling we should be able to make this right across with no issue. We're not, not like we're trying to cross an ocean or anything like we were before. We're, we're good to go. Some deep water, a bit of mud, but we're okay. We made it to the other side. All right, new uncharted territory. Your boy loves it. Let's see where we're going to be going. So we're trying to make it to this watchtower. I'm imagining at least for now, we're going to want to just kind of follow this, uh, follow this road and see what happens. We've got a house there. Some sort of a challenge. Might as well accept it. We'll check that out at some point, but it's not necessary right now. I mean, in and of itself, this is a pretty sweet drive. Check this out. Look at that view. Look at everything that's been devastated by this flood. That is just insane. We're making our way up Kind of the side of a mountain here. Looks like our watchtower is going to be up towards the top. We haven't really seen any turnoff points. Looks like this road might actually snake all the way up, which is interesting. I wish it was all dirt. I, I like. I'm not. I'm not joking, dude. This thing. I wonder. Like, could we put some highway tires on it? Obviously, that would defeat the purpose. But I'm just blown away by the fact that this thing doesn't doesn't drive straight. And in real life, I've got some huge like grappler off-road tires on my Jeep, just because it's a cool, aggressive look. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I Obviously, I, ooh, nice little trailer there. Obviously, I don't I, I don't go off-roading all the time. Like, it's not meant to be an off-road vehicle. It, 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 we do take it off-road for fun, but for the most part, it's just a nice vehicle to look cool on the road. Like, that's why I got it. I'd love to get more into off-roading again, but um, it still drives pretty well. Like, it, it's a little bit louder and it's definitely not as smooth. Like you definitely feel more of the bumps and, and you know, more of the potholes in the street and stuff like that, but it still drives pretty well. Like it, it's not like it's a misery to drive. Long distances maybe, but stuff like this, like you, you could definitely drive in a straight line. Whereas this, I'm, I'm, hold on. Let's find a flat area here. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's line this, oop, 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 hold on. Okay, it's, I mean, it's even hard to get it straight. Look at this, dude. 
I can't even get it straight. I was gonna get it straight and just press the gas and show you guys how these things react, but it's it's not good. Point proven. What I didn't even set up my my experiment because it's so bad. But we're gonna be okay. Just going up the side of this mountain, exploring unknown territory, like I said. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do this stuff off camera. I just feel like checking out the map and, and chilling and cruising with you guys is pretty fun. Let's be careful here. Make sure we don't catch a lip and roll over or anything. There's lots of little sections in the guardrail that kind of dip off like that. Makes me think there could be, could be something of interest back there, but we're just going to keep on going up. You see, like, stuff like this. Like, what do you think is down there? It's got a, oh no, there's a road. That definitely goes somewhere. It makes me want to go check it out, you know what I mean? Like, that—that that is gnarly. And it seems like that might be the only way to get down there. So at some point, we'll probably have to check that out. But I feel like right now, let's just stay focused. And let's get these lookout points completed. Oh, look at this, dude. Sketchy wooden bridge on the side of a mountain. Do you trust it? I mean, I guess you could have taken the dirt path as well. Ooh, is this a shortcut? It doesn't really go anywhere, though. Yeah, I, I don't think we want to take that. I don't think that's a good idea. We're, we're going to play it safe. We're going to get it done. So as it turns out, I actually don't think there are any specific roads up to this watchtower. It looks like, if anything, this might be the best... Yeah, we're gonna be able to do this. But there's no like actual marked road to be able to get up there. So I guess that last thing we, we looked at could have potentially been something. Oh my goodness, be careful here, Trev. Dude, we have we have traveled so far. It's taken okay, just don't don't even run over the tree. Let's let's not mess with anything here, bro. It's taken so long to get here. If we rolled over or flipped or like see like this, I don't like it. I don't like it. If we did anything bad right now, I would be so upset. We've invested so much into this. And you know what the craziest part is? Hurry up, get this. There it is. We got it. We got it. The craziest part is this is still the first map. There are, I think, four locations or four maps in the game. And then, like, Michigan, for an example, is split up into four sections. So think about how big this is. I feel like this is could be a game in it like by itself. But this is just the second part of Michigan that we've uncovered. And then there's Alaska and then there's I think two other places. It's just insane. So it looks like we've got some trailers. We've got gateway to Drummond Island, which is the the next part of Michigan that we haven't seen yet. There is an upgrade down here. Ooh. You're kind of talking my language, man. I'm going to be honest. Is this That's a warehouse. That's not a garage. I'm, I'm thinking since we're already over... Oh, shoot. There's an upgrade over here, too. I mean, since we've already made this trek, we might as well... Let's let's go let's go grab this upgrade. We got to go here first, go around to here, and then go down to the upgrade. Getting risky. Doing it backwards. Do it different, baby. Let's get it, boys. We've got a new... Oh, shoot. Hold up. Let me... Let me Flip a 180 real quick. Oh, look at us. Oh, oh. Too quick. Too fast. Oh my god, we did it! Alright. Flat roads. All the way to the upgrade part. We'll grab it. Hopefully it's something we can actually use. Both... Wait, are we going the wrong way? No, nope, we're, we're going the right way. It's just we... we our first checkpoint, we had kind of skipped it. Because we took a shortcut. Uh, both upgrades we found so far haven't been exactly what we're looking for, so... Hopefully, we're going to be able to put this one to use. Going to be taking a right to go to the camp here. Skipped ahead to the next daylight era. The next daylight time. Let's see if we can get through this. Woo! Kind of getting up on one wheel there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Look at the lake in the background of the river, I guess. That's, I mean, that's, it's beautiful, but that's the river that's caused all these problems. So, I don't know if we can really appreciate it because we're kind of mad at it. But I guess we wouldn't have a game if it weren't for that river, so... What the heck did we just hit there? That's what I'm saying, dude. Sometimes this thing just freaks out. Hits some sort of a weird rut or a rock or something, and you just never know when it's going to decide to flip you. It's probably smarter to go super slow. See, if we go slow and we just kind of ride the brake a bit... 
It's definitely a lot more effective. Looks like our right rear is a little bit torn up. Gotta be careful with that, dude. Our, our, our upgrade is right here behind the rock. This is the far corner of the map. We have come a long way for this. Please don't mess it up right at the end. We're good to go. Dude, this is gonna be pretty nasty getting back up. This this might be a one-way trip. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. It's right there, right next to that car. That broken down car. We got it. The White Western Star 4964. Shoot, it's a, a suspension upgrade. I mean, we don't have that thing unlocked yet, but I have seen it on the loading screens. It looks like it's pretty good. I'm sure at some point, we're probably gonna end up using that thing, so it's, uh, it's okay. I'm gonna check down here by the house, make sure there's no like side mission or anything, and then we've gotta decide if it's gonna be smarter to try to drive to the next watchtower or just reload and spawn back at our garage. Looks like there was a side mission, so we'll go ahead and uh, let's accept this. And let's take a look at this. So we can go up and around through there. There is an up, oh, dude. I think it's gonna be much quicker to respawn. Let's, let's respawn back at the garage, come straight down through here, go to this, come across here just like this, get to this tower, and then work our way to the last tower. This is a road, are you sure, game? All right, yep, looks like it is. We're gonna be going down. We're trying to get to those marshes and make it across to the island to be able to get our next uh, our next lookout tower. You can kind of see it off in the distance a little bit. I don't really want to look up because you got to keep your eyes on the road though. Look at this. Oh, this, I thought this was gonna be intense. No, this is nothing, dude. You can see the watchtower right there. We've got a nice little rock crossing. I thought this was gonna be like swampland and marshes and stuff. I mean, it is a little bit off to the right there, but overall this is, uh, this is pretty tame, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be able to make make it through this with no problem. Got a, at least kind of a, a bit of a path to get through. I really don't, I, I don't know how we're gonna get some of our big trucks through this. Like this section, I could see, I could see our Paystar making through it. You know, I, I, I could see, oh shoot, that branch is a stiff one, huh? What the, it's... Brother, it is stuck to me. So uh, I, I could see our pace start getting through that one and maybe a couple other ones, but I just, I, I feel like some of the mud, especially towards the beginning of the episode over by the farm and stuff, that was that was pretty intense, dude. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. We might, I mean, th obviously this is super interesting. Oh, what the, what are you doing? Why are we getting stuck to these branches? Go right through the middle. There we go. Uh, I think we might have to go check out Alaska at some point. Just kind of get a, a change in scenery. I know there's a lot of upgrades over in Alaska too. We just got to kind of do what we can to get the upgrades for our vehicles and, and kind of work forward from there. It's This game is insane. Like, you never really know what to expect. So that was pretty good. We can definitely... I mean, we're going to want to go back out to the main road. We're going to come to here. Go up and grab this upgrade. Then after that, I guess move on to our last tower. And then from there, we could swoop back around and grab this last upgrade. Looks like we've got an abandoned vehicle over here. Is it gonna tell us what it is? CK-1500, so that's the first starting vehicle we had. There's an upgrade across here. We could kind of come across this little, little land bridge there, another land bridge there. All right, I mean, let's just keep on moving, I guess. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these exploratory episodes. I mean, I think it's cool. I feel like if we had too many of these, it might get a little bit boring. Obviously, when we have an objective and there's like a, a, a big trailer and crazy events we have to get across, crazy hurdles and, and challenges and stuff, that makes things a bit more interesting. But I, I still feel like this is pretty cool. Um, I also like, I, I don't want to stay in Michigan for too long, but the problem is you kind of, like it's, it's a bit of a grind. Like, I'm happy to grind it off screen, but if you guys want to see stuff like this where we're trying to find upgrades and, and trying to grind for money and stuff, I'm happy to do that as well. Here we go. Let's grab this upgrade part here. Is it for anything we, we have? Oh, that's our GMC. What is this? An engageable uh, differential? Locking differential kit that provides considerable traction advantage over unlocked differential, making 
traversing uneven terrain even easier. All right. So that's pretty good. I think that's the first uh, differential upgrade we've had. Now we want to head back down. Your boy goes where there are no roads. We could go all the way around to the side. That'd be the safe play, but I think uh, I think that we're, we're pretty good through here. Dude, these trees really don't like us. What's up with these branches, man? Just let me through, bro. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. Is this the road we wanted to be on? It is. All right, so we're just going to follow this thing all the way, and we're going to try to get to this tower. Let's get after it. This isn't much of a road as as much as I would call it a trail, but we've got a bit of a trailblazer here. This is just insane, dude. Every couple feet, we're bouncing all over the place. Can't really find much traction. Definitely don't want to get too much speed. Otherwise, we're going to be bucked off this thing. But it looks like we are making it through. Oh, wow. That thing's at the top of a mountain. Okay, that's that's going to prove to be a bit of a challenge. Dude, look at this. Look look at this terrain. Like, they, we absolutely aren't making it through here with any sort of a big vehicle or a trailer. That's for sure. This, this is pretty much scout-only territory. Let me check here dude how shoot we definitely should have we definitely should have taken that high ground we're just gonna have to go up the rock cliff all right well challenge accepted your boy rolls it that's gonna be a gg it's gonna take us like another half hour to get here but do you want me to be honest this this seems pretty timid pretty tame just crawling right up a cliff dude are you kidding me right now? Look at that. Thank you very much. You love to see it. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and put our parking brake on, our handbrake on. So we've got, uh, I mean, there's, we can go to Island Lake over here or we can go to the Drummond Island area. That's insane. So there's the, the last two parts of Michigan we haven't been to yet. We honestly probably could go there and kind of explore them and, and at least find the garage so we can fast travel. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I guess we can we can try to go get this upgrade, maybe look at this truck along the way. Let's let's just let's see if it's possible to just cut a cliff truck through here. Oh boy. How 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 bad are we look Oh. Honestly not that bad. I take it back. I was I was a little bit scared when I saw the steep drop off right there, but we're we're good. If we go straight down here. I mean, there's even a flagpole out here, bro. What do you what do you want from me? This is easy. There's no question about this. I kind of want to go check out that truck. We might. Honestly, hold on. We, we, you don't even really need to tow these things out is the, the thing. You just need to be able to get close enough to them to recover them back to your garage. So we could totally just grab this thing. We could just swap into it, recover it back to our garage, fast travel back to our Jeep and then keep on keep on our way. I need to stop calling it a Jeep. It's not a Jeep. This is Apollo. So this is kind of like a... I've always thought these types of semis were ugly, dude. Like the big flat face where you're sitting on top of the engine. International Transtar 4070A. That's what we got the upgrade part for earlier. Alright, look at this. Change truck, hop in it, recover it, except that's going back to our garage. Let me bring this back up. We're going to take a look at our vehicles. Back to the Con Marshall, a.k.a. Apollo. We're back in it, and look at that. We've got a brand new vehicle. We might be able to keep it. We might want to sell it. I mean, the world is our oyster. Now what we're going to do is we are just going to make our way through this. Okay, we probably need to be smart about this. No, we're good. This looks... It looks a little bit sketchy in front of us, but it looks like it's, it's fairly shallow on the map. We're going to make our way through here. We're going to grab the second to last upgrade part. And, uh, man, this this has been this has been a good day to us. So basically now, I mean, we've, we've uncovered a new truck. We've got all these upgrade parts. We've uncovered all the roads on the map and all the side missions and everything, all the main missions as well. We're going to be able to choose what pays the most, where we're going to want to go next, and it's it's not going to be a guessing game. So I, I think the whole scouting thing is super, super important. Every time we, uh, every time we unlock a new area. So let me go ahead and, uh, and grab this upgrade part here. Raised for what kind of a truck? The Scout 800. Shoot, that's the little Bronco looking thing that we don't really use. All right. So from here, I mean, the, the last thing on my list is going to be to grab this. 
Which me? Oh shoot! Oh, there's another upgrade part over here. Hold on. I didn't even see that earlier. All right. I guess we can we can probably just drive straight there. Not gonna lie to you, I I I kind of chickened out a little bit here. I wanted to play it safe and make sure we could get there. We've just invited. It, we've invested so much time into into getting where we are. I wanted to make sure we made it happen. Looks like we've got some sort of a quarry down here. There's a a big excavator as well as a ramped flatbed. I don't even see where that ramped flatbed is. I do see kind of like a, a... Okay. Be careful, Trev. Be very careful, Trev. Oh my goodness, my heart just sunk. I do see some sort of a loading platform type thing, so I'm sure we're going to have to run some... Uh, run some missions down here. But we could probably grab that flatbed and sell it for cash at some point. Obviously not right now, but... Just kind of trying to... Future prep here. All right, be very careful. I think this is probably probably where we want to turn off to the left a bit. We want open area that we can just kind of cleanly cleanly go down through. And our next upgrade objective is going to be just on the other side of these rapids. They're fairly deep and fairly quick, but it's not as bad as what we saw earlier in the episode. So should be able to make it right through. Second to last upgrade part right here. Let's see what we've got. Engageable all-wheel drive. And last but not least, we recovered the vehicle and we are gonna be coming down this uh, this east side of the map over here on the far right. We've just gotta take a right at our next little road, which is right here where the guardrail dips and stops. Guess I wouldn't really call this a road, but we're gonna go for it anyway. All right, gonna have to make it through these spruce trees that really like to grab us and give us a hard time. Which way do we want to go? To the right? Probably to the right. Let's make it through here. Oh my goodness, dude. This, to think that this is the second area of the first map. How, how bad do you think Alaska gets with all the snow and ice and everything? How bad do you think Russia or wherever the, the, the next place is? I, I don't even recognize the name when I see it in the menu. So we're going to head down here. Hopefully not tip anything over. Okay, it's going to be up here on the right. Just a little ways longer. Come on, baby. You got this, old girl. And look at this, dude. We have... Comp oh, shoot. How do you want me to get down there? We just got to approach this straight on. Beautiful. Got it. Engageable differential kit for... Uh, the CK-1500, which is exactly what we didn't want. So, there you guys have it. That is a new section of the map that we had never seen before. Completely uncovered, completely just explored, scouted. Everything is complete. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Please let me know. Do you guys like the scouting episodes? I know the, the objective, like job episodes are probably a little bit more fun. But if you guys would like to see these from time to time, I'm definitely down to do that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.